We're working on an early 4020 diesel, uh, serial number 89,022T, uh, and uh, this one has the hydraulics very similar, I'm assuming, to the 4010. And uh, in this case here, for the remotes at the back, whereas the newer 4020s would have, they would have the little symbols for the rabbit and the turtle to uh, make your uh, remote hydraulics faster for to raise and lower your implement at the proper speed. This has metering valves. And uh, these valves, when I when I started working on this tractor, the hydraulics are for the loader. It's a 148 loader. It was horribly slow. It was awful. And these metering valves were closed in just about uh, down to an eighth or a quarter of a turn. And uh, so that made it so that the oil was really restricted. That would be good for a cultivator with a very small cylinder to raise it up and down yeah, so that the, the cylinder wasn't too fast. In this case here I needed something that would rattle the bucket and, uh, and lift at a nice speed. Even though it's not uh, plumbed in the way you would like, it's uh, being hooked to the remotes. Now I've got good action by moving these out. I, I tried it at four turns out and then I moved it another three but I haven't tried it since. So these two remotes here, the remote controls are the, run by these levers. And this one case here, the outside lever is, uh, is for the loader itself. The inside lever is hooked for the, for the bucket to tilt it. Um, if you check, both of these rods have a second, uh, the levers have a second hole. And if you take and move the rod from the lower hole to the top hole, you can put that into a float position. It gives you a little bit more travel, and you can bring the uh, bring the remote control into uh, into the float position, so that say the loader would follow the contour of the ground if you're pushing snow with the bucket. So I'm gonna I'm gonna try that. I haven't tried that yet, but I'm going to move this to the top hole, and that should allow the the loader to to float. The hydraulic pressure should be about 2,300 pounds, and uh, and the way it was uh, choked off at the metering valves before, it was just pitiful, and I don't know how they used the tractor. On the other side, this is called a priority valve, this little fellow in here. This takes the oil, and, uh, and if there's a problem with the hydraulic system, it will make a priority for the steering and for the brakes. And if the, uh, you can see this little bung down here, this would be where you would tap in normally for the for a loader and you'd put a closed center uh, control valve in to that port there and it still works the same way, the priority is for the steering and the brakes but everything else would go to the loader, you would bypass all the other remotes and uh, and gadgetry, it should make the loader work better I would feel. Anyway, that's about it for the for this hydraulics and the adjustments thereof.